I always wondered when I went to church on Sundays. I've always been one to, I'm not just a boxer. I do a lot of reading, a lot of studying. I ask questions. I go, I travel these countries. I watch how their people live and I learn. And I always ask my mother. I said, Mother, how come is everything white? I said, why is Jesus white with blonde and blue eyes? Why is the Lord's Supper all white men? Angels are white. Pope and, and um, Mary and every, even the angels. I said, Mother, when we die, do we go to heaven? She said, naturally, we go to heaven. I said, well, what happened to all the black angels when they took the pictures? <laughs> she, I said, I said, oh, I know. If the white folks was in heaven, too, then the black angels were in the kitchen preparing the milk and honey. <laughs> I said, listen, you quit saying that, boy. I was always curious. And I always wonder why I had to die to go to heaven. Why I couldn't have pretty cars and good money and nice homes now. Why do I have to wait till I die to get milk and honey? And I said, Mama, I don't want no milk and honey. I like steaks and, and I said, milk and honey is a laxative anyway. <laughs> Did they have a lot of bathrooms in heaven? So anyway, I was always. I always wondered why, you know, Tarzan is the king of the jungle in Africa. He was white. And, uh, uh, white man. I saw this white man swinging around Africa with a diaper on, hollering, oh! You all see Tarzan over here? Right. Yeah. Tarzan? And all the Africans, so he's beating them up and breaking the lion's jaw. And here's Tarzan talking to the animals. And... The Africans been there for centuries, and he yet can't talk to the animals. All the times he talks to the animals. I always wonder why Miss America was always white. All the beautiful brown women in America, beautiful suntans, beauty shapes, all tight complexions, but she always was white. And Miss World was always white. And Miss Universe was always white. And then they got some stuff called White House cigars, white swan soap, king white soap, white cloud tissue paper, <clears throat> white rain hair rinse, white tornado flow wax. Everything was white. And the angel food cake was the white cake, and the devil food cake was the chocolate cake. <laughs> So mama, why is everything white? I always wondered, you know, and, and the president lived in the White House. <laughs> and Mary had a little lamb, his feet as white as snow, and snow white. And everything was white. Santa Claus was white. And everything bad was black. The little ugly duckling was a black duck. And the black cat was the bad luck. And if I threaten you, I'm going to blackmail you. <laughs> I said, Mama, why don't they call it white male? They lie, too. I was always curious, and then and this is when I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Won the Olympic gold medal in Rome, Italy. Olympic champion, the Russian standing right here, and the pole right here. 
Is Poland considered a communist country? Yeah. Yeah, I'm defeating America's so-called threats or enemies. And the flag is going ton 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 I'm standing so proud. Ton 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 And I don't hook the world of America. Ton 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 I took my gold medal, thought I'd invented something. I said, man, I know I'm going to get my people freedom there. I'm the champion of the whole world, Olympic champion. I know I can eat downtown now. And I went downtown that day, had my big old medal on and went in the restaurants. At that time, black things weren't integrated. The black folks couldn't eat downtown. And I went downtown, I sat down, and I said, you know, a cup of coffee, uh, hot dog. He said, the lady said, we don't serve Negroes. <laughs> I'm so mad. I said, I don't eat them either. Just give me a cup of hot dog. I said, I'm the Olympic gold medal. One three days ago, I fought for this country in Rome. I won the gold medal, and I'm going to eat. The manager heard her tell the manager, and she says, he said, well, I'm not the, I'm not the man. Now, he's got to go out. Anyway, I didn't raise no money. They put me out. And I had to leave that restaurant in my hometown where I went to church and served in their Christianity and fought and daddy fought in all the wars. Just won the gold medal and couldn't eat downtown. I said, something's wrong. And from then on, I've been a Muslim. Yes, I was going to ask you about what attracted you to the to the, the Muslims, truth. But... The teachings of Elijah, I don't know Elijah Muhammad on how black people's been brainwashed, how they've been taught to love white and hate black, how we've been robbed of our names in slavery, we were robbed of our culture, we were robbed of our true history, so it left us a walking dead man. So you got black people in all white country and they don't know nothing about themselves, they don't speak their language, they're just mentally dead. And this is happening all over the world. But the first place that we'll rise will be the black people of America, and then the rest of them will.